Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sean Stevenson Books. I'm Sean Stevenson. I like to write books and I like to read books. In fact, I'm the author of the Throne series and today we're talking about a different kind of throne. In fact, this throne is a porcelain one. What book are we talking about? It is none other than Goof Lumps number two and a half, Stay Out of the Bathroom. Oh my word. This book, this book, people, this book. I, I did not know what I was getting into when I picked up Goose, Goof Flumps by R.U. Slime, an official, unofficial parody of an official Goosebumps book. There are only two books in this series, this book and Eat Cheese and Barf, number four and a half in this series. And this book might have been one of the most disgusting books I've ever read, but not because of any gore, but literally because of the amount of puking. I don't think I've ever read a book that had so many characters puking so often and so much. And it just gets to a point where it is disgusting. I actually felt a little sick after reading this book. Now that could have been the lunch that I had in North Carolina when I was on a book shopping trip to find this book. But I have to wonder if this book didn't make me feel a little bit ill because it kind of did. Okay, so what is this book about? So Joe Kohler, yes, the same name as the toilet brand, he happens to break his family toilet when he decides to stand on the lid and dance on top of it because he is so excited about making the bathroom a mess because that's one of his signature moves to make the bathroom a mess. So he dances on top of the toilet and the bowl cracks. Now I don't know how that works exactly because he's standing on top of the lid and he breaks the entire bowl. Like, it, well, not the entire bowl. There's like a crack near the bottom of the bowl from standing on the lid. And I was wondering, why isn't the lid of the toilet broken? Why is the bowl near the bottom broken, but not the lid of the toilet broken? I don't know. I don't know toilet physics. I am not a physicist. But somehow, Joe breaks the toilet bowl. So his dad finds out because the toilet overflows from the toilet bowl breaking. I don't really know. I don't understand this book. So they have to go buy a new toilet. Well, the day they have to go buy a new toilet is on a Sunday when all the toilet stores are closed. <laughs> so they <laughs> I can't even with this book. I will compose myself. So they go to a nearby town where there is Gleep Norp's toilets open. <laughs> and they go inside to buy a brand new state of the art toilet. So they buy this toilet from Gleep Norp, who is the owner of the toilet shop. And while the dad is paying for the toilet, Joe goes outside and he sees something very strange behind the toilet shop. He sees a really strange van that's almost shaped like a toilet, but sort of looks like a flying saucer. And he also happens to run into his great aunt who is dumpster diving behind the toilet store. I, I just can't, I, I don't even know with this book. So Joe goes home after they buy this brand new toilet, but something is wrong with the toilet because suddenly his dad is not the same anymore. And soon his sister doesn't seem the same anymore. And even his mom is not the same anymore. Something is going on with the mysterious new state of the art toilet. What is it? Is it haunted? Is it aliens? You'll have to read to find out because no spoilers here. I won't spoil this wonderful piece of literature for you. So this book, like I said, it is so over the top ridiculous 
that you kind of laugh because it really makes fun of all the Goosebumps tropes. You have all the things like sudden chapter cliffhangers that come that are end up being really non-threatening things. Like, for instance, a knock at the door. What is it? Is it a ghost from the toilet? Is it the toilet itself coming down the hallway? No, it's the cat that ran into the door. And, I mean, R.L. Stein does pull stuff like this throughout the Goosebumps books. He has these kind of fake-out cliffhanger chapter endings. And so R.U. Slime, a.k.a. Robert Hughes, also does this. There's also a lot of twists that take place in this book and at times I actually felt like it read more like an off-brand Goosebumps book more than something that's trying to imitate in a making fun sort of way a Goosebumps book. So this book was absolutely ridiculous. Joe the main character is so annoying and you kind of wish the toilet would get him at some point because he's just that obnoxious. And like I said, there is a lot of puke in this book. If you are squeamish, don't read this one. It's gonna, it's gonna make you feel sick. I legit felt a little bit ill after reading this book. I did not really love my experience of reading it that much. But at the end of the day, I will say, there is kind of some fascinating suspense and action near the end of the book. And the twist of what's going on is so over the top it's entertaining it's almost like a really bad movie you can't look away from because you keep thinking oh it can't get more ridiculous oh it just did get more ridiculous than i thought it would i can't believe we're going here but we are and i will say there are some real suspenseful moments though Near the end especially, there are some moments where you are wondering, will Joe actually get out of this situation? And will they be able to stop what's happening? Because you just can't even guess what's going on at the end of this book. I will say, I may have been able to guess a bunch of other R.L. Stein Goosebumps books, but I did not guess the ending of a Goof Flumps book. I don't know if that says something. I don't know if it says something about me or R.L. Stein or Are You Slime, but I definitely did not guess the end of this book. So, the question is, would I recommend it? <laughs> okay, so here's my thought. If you are a diehard Goosebumps fan, and you have read all the Goosebumps books there are, you should read this because you will laugh and just just be entertained by all of the subtle references because there are a lot of subtle references. I mean, the title alone here, Stay Out of the Bathroom, is definitely a play on Stay Out of the Basement. And there are a lot of very subtle references that make fun of so many different Goosebumps books and plot lines. This book came out in 1995 and it was put out by Random House which was a scholastic competitor at the time. And so it's just so funny to me because I feel like Random House was just making fun of Scholastic and making fun of Goosebumps with this book. There were only, like I said, ever two of these. I don't have the other book, but I, I kind of want to get it. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want it because I want to read it and see how, if it's the same. Although it is called Eat Cheese and Barf, and if it has more puking, I might get sick. I don't know. So, at the end of the day, like I said, if you're a Goosebumps super fan, get this book. You will enjoy it. You'll think it's fun. You'll think it's just total garbage, too. But you'll have a good time. If you are a casual Goosebumps fan, I don't recommend it. You're going to think, why did I read this? I don't know. Because it's just, it's not well written. It's not that great. Although, like I said, it did have some surprises. So... At the end of the day, stay out of the bathroom. Goof Lumps book number two and a half. How many stars do I give this book? This is the question I have been asking myself. How to rate Goof Lumps stay out of the bathroom? Do I give it three stars? Two stars? Definitely not above three. It is not even getting close to above three. So at the end of the day, I have decided to give Goof Lumps stay out of the bathroom two stars out of five it's not good it's not great but it's serviceable as a goosebumps parody 
I don't even know. I don't know. This thing is just, it's gone down the drain from here. So, with all that said, have you read this book, Goof Lumps, number two and a half, Stay Out of the Bathroom? If you have, please tell me your experience. Did you make it through without feeling sick? I would love to know. And that's all for now. So, until next time, keep reading, everybody. And hopefully you're reading better books than I am this week. But keep reading, everybody. See you later. Bye.